Hi everyone, hope you're well. Chocolate. You've finally come to chocolate in the Snippet series. I love chocolate, if you can't tell. Chocolate is amazing. It's an abundant source of different minerals, calcium, magnesium, potassium, zinc, as well as the um, flavanols, the polyphenols, you know, the epicatechins, catechins, procyanidins, theobromines, etc. All health promoting properties. And I believe chocolate should be consumed every day. Good quality high cacao chocolate should be consumed every day, but that's just my bias towards something that I love. Now, there's a lot of research with studies indicating that chocolate has various, various health properties such as anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiplatelet, antithrombotic, antiatherogenic, anti-bad things, and it's a very good vasodilator. So chocolate is very good as a general substance that you consume every day for overall health. It's been found to modulate glucose metabolism, endothelial dysfunction, blood pressure control, both systolic and diastolic, as well as that anti-inflammatory, antioxidant you know, factor involved. Um, I'm quite excited just talking about chocolate in general. Um, reduction of oxidative stress. And I want you to start thinking about the cardiometabolic benefits of chocolate. Working with insulin resistance, so insulin regulation, insulin performance, as well as you know, anti-atherogenic effect. So it has a greater role in cardiometabolic health. It has a role as well as the cholesterol metabolism side where research has shown greater quality lipid profile as a reduction of LDLs and oxidized LDLs. So the oxidized inflamed golf balls of the um, cholesterol world, as well as increasing HDLs or high density lipoprotein. It's very useful in that case. Um, a lot of research is heading towards um, the mental health component of chocolate and the quality of life, quality of health with chocolate consumption. And there was a study published a number of years ago, which I quite enjoyed, where it talked about the consumption of chocolate in a country is related to the number of Nobel Prize winners. And um, Australia is high on that list because per capita, we have received um, a number of Nobel Prizes and that's involved with uh, you know, a relationship with chocolate consumption. So I think that's quite an interesting point. Um, keeping that in mind, will it make us a Nobel laureate? I don't know. But what we should do is consume chocolate anyway, think positive, do positive, and consume chocolate every single day because I think it's just awesome.